are one of today's most popular gadgets turned audible accessories, capable of transporting your mind to a different place and transforming your mood instantly. And among the various choices on the market is a little known brand straight out of Brooklyn. Born from a family that's been quietly building some of the industry's most renowned headphones for more than 60 years and counting. I feel like the sound, I just, I keep saying like Christmas Day. It's like, <laughs> this makes me happy. <laughs> this is Great Labs, a modest operation founded inside an unassuming townhouse spanning three floors and three generations. Back in the 40s, my uncle was a master watchmaker. was always an audio enthusiast. He sang by using his watchmaking talents. And he started making the phono cartridge like a fine Swiss watch. Explain to me what a phono cartridge is. You have any, any idea what a turntable is? I do, a little picky picky one. Okay, what? so the phono cartridge is actually the piece that sits on the record and retrieves the signal off the vinyl record. With nearly 50 patents to his name, the late Joseph Grado is credited with more innovations in phono cartridge design than anyone in our lifetime, earning him a place in the Audio Hall of Fame in 1982. And when his nephew John took over the business in 1990, Grado Labs really started making some noise. We saw that headphones were kind of considered second-class citizens in the audio world, and we felt we could really make an impression. You guys are the cool guys. Oh, oh. yeah, <laughs> you could say. And, he, and even back then, we were highly rated. Yeah. But even with business booming, Grado's mode of operation remains exactly the same. So talk me through each floor and what happens. So this is the basement. Mm -hmm. This is we make the parts. In the rear is the production area for the phono cartridges. Okay. On the second floor is the headphone production. On the top floor we have our listening room. Why keep your business here in this building? You know, why not expand, go elsewhere? I'm very big on family tradition. My grandfather bought it in 1918. I grew up here. I like coming to work. I like getting my hands dirty if the machine breaks. I'm the one working on it. It's a lot of pride. Absolutely. And that very sentiment extends to every level of Grado's business. This is a housing. Okay. We're going to bond them together. Uh-huh. So how long have you been doing this? Uh, 22 years. 22 years. And how many headphones do you think you make per year? About 200,000. All by hand? Yes. Wow. Oh. A little bit more. OK. Whoa. Okay, now we're gonna test. Okay. Whoa! Yeah, okay. okay. Wow! That's so cool! That was a nice girthy sound. So this is a finished product. Yes. This is how I dance. Girl. Oh, or I drop it down low if I need to, you know, if it's real bassy. Boom. Okay, let's try that again, this time with the headphones actually plugged in. So is there a method to listening? I break down the sound. I'll pick out particular instruments or voices. I listen to all the different parts, and then I put them all together to see the full picture. All right, here I go. Okay. I'm doing this. Oh, it's just yummy. It's just yummy, like, just resonates in the soul, doesn't it? That bass, the quality, that's what I'm talking about. You just hear everything, but it's warm. We feel it kind of puts you right in the middle of the music. That's it, it puts you in the middle of the music. Yeah. That's a good way to... To have someone really care about the quality of the sound means a lot, because people don't realize that they're not hearing it the way it's meant to be listened to, the way it's meant to be heard. And if this is the first time you're hearing about Grado headphones, you're not alone. So I got to hear the headphones, Great. quality, A+, plus, nice. love. But I do have to be honest, I haven't heard of Grado before today. Why do you think that is? We haven't advertised since 1964, so it's always been <laughs> word of mouth. It represents the quality of the brand, doesn't it, if it's word of mouth? Right. So is that why you keep it local and you don't expand? Because then you can kind of have control over the quality? The bigger the company, the more space between my dad and the end product. Mm. And if that means keeping it small to keep the quality up and to produce something we're proud of. I think it's worth it. So how does it feel to have a company that is actually 100% made in America? I grew up literally here. Literally here. L literally <laughs> right here. Yeah. And then not only made in America, but this is the wood from a tree from a few blocks away. 
headphones made from a Brooklyn tree. That's really cool. It's something my dad and my great uncle have both put their life's work into, so I'd love to keep that going. And I'm really excited I get to wear a little Grado headphones out in the world and be like, what's up people? Rocking <laughs> quality right here, handmade, what?